morning. Oh, not as hot as I thought it'd be. <clears throat> Need to check the temperature regulator on that one. Morning, it is a Monday morning. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a, uh, a live video or video of any kind uh, of, of length or of this type. Um, I've been doing a lot of other things, namely a, a really long vacation, really long uh, road trip. And uh, that was interesting. Got to do a lot of things, very um, uh, things that I'd never gotten a chance to do before. So that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, purpose. There is an article on success.com and it says quotes on the power of purpose. I'm going to share that uh, link on the uh, comment section so you can check that out for yourself. Because the way I like to do these videos is um, read the quotes, kind of give my thoughts on the quote but recommend that you sit with these quotes yourself and see how you see them through your lens, through your life lens, right? Through your experiences, through who you are and who you've become at this point in your life because who you are in the future is going to be different. Who you were in the past is different. So the article starts like this. It is an article uh, put together by the success.com staff and it starts like this. Discovering your purpose is an important milestone. Now, right there, right, it's seven words that uh, are kind of a throwaway uh, at, at the beginning of a, an article, but you cannot discount the importance of those seven words. Discovering your purpose is an important milestone. Many people never discover their purpose, and many people feel less of themselves or think less of themselves because they don't feel they have found a purpose now i will say this on the flip side of that i've met many people who have found their purpose and what you see in them it's almost a light emanating from them because they know what they want to do they know who they are and they know what their uh what direction their life is going to take what steps they need to take to fulfill that purpose and even then some of the people that i've met that have that conversation with they're not even completely 100 percent sure that that's their purpose they just know that at that moment in their life the person who they are at that moment in time in their life in their timeline their work journey in their life journey that's what they feel they need to do so discovering your purpose is an important milestone and it holds such power in your life but it's not always a simple thing to define if you don't know what yours is yet uh, get quiet and reflect why are you here when was the last time you sat down with yourself and asked yourself that question why are you here and that being said did you answer the question as honestly and as truthfully as as possible or is it tempered by fear or limits that you place on yourselves or limits that others have placed on you so why are you here get quiet and reflect why are you here because when you live intentionally life is just more meaningful and I think that's what we're looking for meaning in our life and success gets that much closer so the quotes that we're going to be talking about are, are kind of focused or should be seen in that framework when you live intentionally, life is just more meaningful and success gets that much closer. You define what success is to you, right? Just like you define what happiness is to you. Let these quotes speak to you. The first one is by the author Napoleon Hill. If you've never read, for example, Think and Grow Rich, that's one of his most well-known um, books. That's something I'd recommend. Napoleon Hill. And the quote is this. There is one quality which one must possess to win, and that is definiteness of purpose, the knowledge of what one wants, and a burning desire to possess it. Now, uh, since Napoleon Hill speaks very much, especially on the uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich book, about success, about money, about you know what you want to accomplish, and that is one of the key ideas in the book about having a definiteness of purpose. Like you know what you want to do, you know what you have to do. It's almost, if you, if you think about it, 
uh, you, you know, I want to lose weight. Okay, so you, you you go. Okay, so what do I need to do? And then say, okay, okay, you need to eat better. You need to rest. You need to exercise x x amount of times a week, or this type of exercise, etc. And and you have the knowledge of what you need to do, but you also have the want, you the, the need, the desire to possess that goal. So that purpose that you want to reach a specific goal, a specific um, target. That's what you need, that, that, um, the definiteness, okay? So there's one quality which one must possess to win, whatever you decide that is, right? I mean, you want to win a, a, a person. You want to start a relationship with a person. What do you need to do? Is that person someone who is um, of like mind? Is that someone who feels reciprocally? Uh, has reciprocal feelings for you, right? Things like that. So it says there's one quality which one must possess to win, and that is definiteness of purpose, the knowledge of what one wants and a burning desire to possess it. Okay, so that's Napoleon Hill. Number two, Dalai Lama. The important thing is that men should have a purpose in life. It should be something useful, something good. All right. <clears throat> the most important word for me in that one, sorry about that, <clears throat> is should, right? The important thing is that men should have a purpose in life. It should be something useful, something good. How do you see life? You know, Do you want life to be better? Do you want your life journey to be better? Do you want the, the lives of the people in your life, the people you care about, do you want their life to be better? Do you want? Do you feel their life is important and should be uh, good? Something positive happening to them. You know, avoid as much as possible bad things, right? Um, so should it should be something useful? Should be something good, right? Is there somebody who has a purpose to uh, that that is not necessarily good, not necessarily useful? Absolutely. Just like there are people who want to do good in the world, and you'll see them everywhere. You'll see the helpers, you'll see the ones who want to make a change, who want to make something better. There's also agents of chaos, right? They want to see something uh, go wrong. Was it uh, in The Dark Knight, right, the movie? It's like some people just want to see the world burned, right? or some men just want to see the world burned. So number two, Dalai Lama, the important thing is that men should have a purpose in life it should be something useful, something good, right? Number three, Wayne Dyer. When you dance, the purpose is not to get on the floor. It's to enjoy each step along the way. I've never seen a just <laughs> a, 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 another way to say life is a journey, not a destination, to fit uh, a different mindset or a different life experience for somebody when you dance. Right, when you dance, your purpose is not to get on the floor, the destination. It's to enjoy each step along the way, the journey. So, life is a journey, not a destination. Basically, is what's that saying? What what that is saying? So, the steps that you are taking, are you enjoying them, or are you just muddling through life? And it doesn't matter how old you are. I, I, you know, maybe you've seen someone who is you're like your person's too young to be. Uh, living that way like a, a downer <laughs> you know conversely you see some people that are doing fantastically at a very young age so it doesn't matter how old you are your life is still a journey and if the path that you're on is not the path you want to be on and the path that you're on is not the path that's giving you fulfillment it's not filled with your purpose there's still a chance to change every single moment of our lives a chance of rebirth that's what I like to say so what moment are you going to take today if your life is not going in the direction you want it to go or the steps you're taking are not leading you to where you want to go? When are you going to make that change? When are you going to start enjoying each step along the way? The quote by Wayne Dyer was, when you dance, your purpose is not to get on the floor. It's enjoy each step along the way. I keep hitting this with my glasses. <laughs> that's, that's my journey, not to hit the microphone with my glasses. All right, next one. Margaret Thatcher, what is success? I think 
it is a mixture of having a, having a flair for the thing that you're doing, okay? Knowing that it is not enough, that you've got to have hard work and a certain sense of purpose, that's success. That's her definition of success. It's a mixture of having a flair for the thing that you're doing, being good at what you're doing, knowing that it is not enough, right? Because you want to be better, that you have got to have hard work and a certain sense of purpose. Why did I start doing these videos? I just want to share information, positive information, positive quotes, give people an opportunity to be exposed to quotes, articles, things like that of a positive nature that hopefully <clears throat> allows them to look into themselves and, and make a change for the better. That's it. But it does take work, right? But that's my purpose for these videos for the most part as as i've been doing them that that's what, that's what i've become to re, that's what i've come to realize so margaret thatcher what is success i think is a mixture of having having a flair for the thing that you're doing knowing that it is not enough that you have got to have hard work and a certain sense of purpose margaret thatcher all right dennis waitley winners are people with definite purpose in life that goes back to number one Napoleon Hill, right? It's like um, the, the one quality which one must possess to win that is definiteness of purpose. So winners are people with a definite purpose in life. Did Dennis Waitley read Napoleon Hill and, you know, take that? Or is the thought and the, um, the definition or the importance of that so much so that he came about that discovery himself winners are people with definite purpose in life and a lot of times when I've had conversations about you know how you want to succeed in this then you're doing that and he says look this is what you need to do and that is a definite thing you need to do you've got to go through this you've got to do this you've got your experiences you've got to there's a definiteness in that purpose so winners are people with definite purpose in life Dennis Waitley and if you haven't found your purpose yet it doesn't mean you never will and it doesn't matter how old you are and that may be one of the biggest things that brings some people down that that kind of quenches their 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 desire their flame you know and, and it's sad to see and and it kind of stinks next one uh, T.D. Jakes, if you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion, for your passion will lead you right into your purpose. God, that conversation. What are you passionate about? What makes you feel? Because, I mean, literally, what is passion, right? What is passion? It says strong and barely controllable emotion. What drives you? What, what, what gives you that strong and barely controllable emotion? Kind of like when you first get into a relationship, right? That's, it looks like you, you almost feel like you have to do thing, everything right. You have to make that person smile. You have to make that person feel better. So what's your passion? And your passion doesn't have to be uh, pushing papers, you know, <clears throat> nor does your passion have to be your job. But if you find your passion, if you can realize and define your passion, you're giving yourself purpose, even if it has nothing to do with your job. Sometimes a job is just a job to make money, right? But what about you as a person? What is your purpose, right? If you, the quote is again, if you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion. For your passion will lead you right into your purpose. T.D. Jakes. That's, that you may have to sit with that one a little bit longer. Martha Beck. If your life is cloudy and you're far, far off course, you may have to go on faith for a while. But eventually you'll learn that every time you trust your internal navigation system, you end up closer to your right life. Do you, at some point in your life, remember not feeling right about something? It's like, man, I should, 
I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Something like that. Right? Just, I, I need to be doing this. Or you've, you've been doing something when you realize this is what I need to do. And, and it's almost like a ray of sun, sunlight, you know, coming down and pointing the way. It's like when we were driving uh, during our recent road trip, we went through a storm. But right before the storm, we, we looked to our left as we were driving south. So it was on the east. And there was a beautiful, super bright and vibrant and visible rainbow. It, it was one of the brightest and most beautiful I'd ever seen. I was like, what? It, it almost seemed fake, <laughs> you know? And then there was a secondary one, which was kind of cool too, right? Whenever you see that. And it, it was just one of those things. It, it was almost, I, I, I feel that's kind of like, you may feel sometimes when you have that revelation. So if your life is cloudy and you're far, far off course, you may have to go on faith for a while. But eventually you'll learn that every time you trust your internal navigation system, you'll end up closer to your right life. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get to that right life of ours, right? What, what is our right life? Your right life is not mine. Mine is not yours. What is our individual one? That was Martha Beck. Victor Frankl, life is never made unbearable by circumstances, but only by lack of meaning and purpose. Now, I feel reading that for the first time, maybe, um, it may be general, generality, because life can sometimes be made uncomfortable by circumstance. Unbearable? Okay, I'll give him that. Life is never made unbearable by circumstances. What, 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 you're, what you're in, what you're experiencing every day, your circumstances. But only by lack of meaning and purpose. That is a deeper question, right? It's not whether you feel uncomfortable having to wake up in the morning to go to a job you don't particularly care doing. But something deeper. You don't have meaning. You don't have purpose. You don't have that drive, that passion, that almost con uncontrollable uh, you know, that passion, what was it? The strong and barely controllable emotion to get something done or to live a certain life. Viktor Frankl, life is never made unbearable by circumstances, but only by lack of meaning and purpose. So that's a good one. Mark Twain. This is a really, really good one. I like this one a lot. The two most important days in life are the day you were born and the day you discover the reason why. Imagine one day, maybe through a lot of hardship or a lot of introspection or searching, one day you realize the reason why you were born. Imagine, some people do. Many, I would, I would argue the majority of people never discover the reason why we were born and that's the ultimate question it's almost a, it's almost a cliche right so what's the one question you would ask god the higher being the whatever right it's like why am i here nobody can answer that for us you can't go to a neighbor you can't go to a lifelong or a new friend or a family member or somebody you care about or some you know anybody and say why am i here and expect the right answer. The two most important days in life are the day you were born and the day you discover the reason why Mark Twain. <clears throat> the article is quotes on the power of purpose on success.com. And I'll make this video available on my YouTube channel as well a little bit later on. YouTube channel is uh, Algae Man One. You do a search for A L G A E M A N and the number one. And that will be uh, that'll be there, so you can check that out. And along with all the other videos that I've ever done, uh, I try and put them all up at the uh, at that same link. Let me put that link right now on the comment section, so you can check it out for yourself. You can uh, go on me my YouTube page and subscribe. That'd be great. 
appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers. I'm not, I don't have these, I have 85 million. I mean, you know, probably not going to happen. Maybe I won't even reach 85, <laughs> but, but it can't hurt to ask, right? And if you feel there's, there's some value in what we're doing and, and that these types of, of, this type of content that we can share, positive content to change the world for a better place, I'd love for you to share the videos as well. Share the link and subscribe. Appreciate it. Another one, uh, quote, last two, and another person whose quotes I enjoy, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Good luck is another name for tenacity of purpose. That goes back also to hard work when it comes to getting things done. When it, when it get, get, goes back to internalizing your purpose and having that create this fire of passion that you start doing what needs to be done and all of a sudden things are going right oh now it's good luck no <laughs> not necessarily because now you have tenacity it's a fire a desire inside like and was it the first one yeah the definiteness of purpose the knowledge of what one wants and a burning desire to to possess it that seems like tenacity of purpose ralph <laughs> and when you when you're doing what needs to be done, guess what? Things start going right, or at least your percentages start getting a lot better. Wow! Whew, good luck, man. It's getting good luck. Well, now it's also a lot of hard work and tenacity of purpose. So good luck is another name for tenacity of purpose. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Last one. Jane Goodall. Every individual matters. Every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. The most powerful word for me in there is repeated three times. Individual. I don't know how far back it's it's been that we and probably longer than even I would imagine where the term like cog in a machine. You know, you're just a rat the rat race just the uh un you know unnamed there's no name it's just a number basically it's like like the man said in the uh in the tv series the prisoner i'm not a number i'm a free man how many people feel like they're just a number and they don't have not only purpose not only they don't have a passion or a desire or or a goal how many people in this world of how many people are in the world over 3 billion you know feel they're not an individual anymore they don't have they don't feel like they're making a difference <laughs> I'm way off 7.6 billion I haven't been keeping track <laughs> So many people out of seven point whatever billion feel they have no worth and that they don't matter individually. They don't have a role to play individually. They don't they can't make a difference individually. That may be one of the most powerful quotes out of all of the quotes we shared today. Every individual matters. Every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. If you are or have ever felt like you can make a difference or you have a role to play or what you do or say matters, I think you become more attuned to things and situations and individuals even who you feel that's not for the better. That's not making a difference for the better as, as, as a world. That's more of a selfish viewpoint. That's more of a very minor, you know, individualistic, almost to a, in a negative sense, viewpoint. And I want better. I want the world to be better. I want to make 
I want to make my life better. I want to make my, my family's life better. I want to make my community better. I want to make the world better for more people. You decide, right? You decide what role you have to play. You decide whether or not you can make a difference because whether you decide yes or no, you're absolutely correct. Because if you feel you cannot make a difference, you will not do anything to make a difference. So you are correct. So you have to decide. It's really good quotes today. The link is on the uh, comment section. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll be doing this again or I, I don't know what the future holds for this. My plan is to continue, continue making these videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I enjoy doing them. We'll see how it goes. I hadn't done one in a couple of weeks. Just did one, so that's good. It's a step up, right? And I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to share it. Tag some people you feel should uh, experience this type of content. Uh, go to my YouTube channel, Algeman one right? And uh, A-L-G-A-E-M-A-N, number one. The link is on the uh, uh, comment section as well. Subscribe, and uh, I'd appreciate you. So, hope you have a wonderful day. Till next time, remember, knowledge is power, imagination is king, and intelligence your weapon. Read a good book today, enrich your mind, and above all, take action. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, we'll be talking.